Hey everyone, this is Ram here. I'm the developer of the Presentify app. And in this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction of the app. So to get the app, you can either go to presentify.comsets.com or just Google Presentify app. So I'll put a typo there. And uh, yeah, you can go either to, to the first link. You can click on the first link. It will take you to the App Store, Apple App Store, or just the website. So if you click on the first link, let's click on the first link. Yeah, this opens up the Apple App Store and you can click on the button here. So I have already installed the app, so I see a open button. But if you don't have the app installed, you will see an install button here. There's a second option, which is Setapp, which is a subscription based app store where you pay a monthly fee and you have access to all the apps on that app store for free. So you can either pay a one-time fee on the App Store, on the Apple App Store, or pay a subscription and have access to all the apps on the Setup App Store. So the pricing model of Presentify right now is a one-time payment. So you pay a one-time fee and you have access to the app forever and all the updates as well. The in-app purchases that you see here are for the tip jar feature. So you can uh, give a tip because it's sometimes hard to Keep working on the app with a one-time payment model, add, keep adding features and also supporting user requests. So I added this over a long time ago. And uh, thank you to all those who have used that feature to donate to the app. Uh, that means a lot to me. So this is the website of Presentify. Uh, it hasn't been updated for some time now, uh, but the app has evolved quite a bit. So. I'll be updating the app, trying to add uh, more videos and GIFs to this website. But for now, it's okay. Um, let's start using the app now. But here, once you have installed and you have opened up the app, so you can open up by Spotlight here, Presentify app, or you can directly go to the launch pad and uh, open up the app. So here, I have multiple Presentifiers uh, because uh, one from the App Store and one from the Set App. All right, so once you have opened up the app, you'll see an icon here, a uh, Presentify icon at the top uh, menu bar. You can just click there and I'll just disable this now. And you can either click on Annotate Screen, where let's click on that, where you will see this Annotate Controls popping up on the top of the screen. Or let me stop that or you can click annotate without controls. So in there, in this mode, you won't see any controls. So you can directly just start annotating. Yeah. So let me stop it now. Let's go to the normal default mode. And this symbol here is freehand drawing. So you can do whatever you want. You want to highlight something or and this one as you can see it's an arrow point to wherever you want and this one is a rectangle or a square whatever uh, you might call it and if you press the option key and draw it maybe this isn't clear but here so you'll see a thin layer of the purple color filling up the rectangle so if I don't press anything, it's a plain rectangle with no filling. But if I press the option key, you'll see it's filled up with a thin color. You can, do, you can use whichever you like. Same with this circle, no filling. But if I press and hold the option key while doing, you'll see it's been filled up. And now the text. So. something like that, just random. Um, you can press enter, go to the next line, or just like that. You can increase or decrease the size of this text with your uh, mouse scroll. So if you scroll your mouse, it will increase the size of this text. If you scroll again, it will decrease the size of the text. So that's handy. And uh, Yes, all support under and redo. 
So like, let's say if I make an arrow and want to undo, yeah, just command Z and it's gone. You can even move this toolbar somewhere else. Like if you want to keep it here or here or whatever, you can move it. Just click on this, yeah, six dots, click and hold and then drag it wherever you want. There are three favorite colors here. As you can see, you can customize this and this is a random color, which uh, will give you a gradient kind of look. So as you can see, it's random and has a gradient. But if you want plain, simple color, you can choose this. And just below the cursor, you see what mode you are in. Like if you are in freehand mode, it shows us a dot. But if you want to, it shows a triangle. If you have a rectangle, it shows a square. It shows a box. And if you choose this, it shows a circle and text. So this is how you know what mode you are in. You don't have to have the controls shown here. And still, it gives you an idea of the mode you are in. And if you want to erase, just press this button here. Let's see the controls as well, the keyboard shortcuts. So to see that, you can either go here and press or click on the annotate shortcuts, or you can press the slash or the question mark key on your keyboard, and this window will pop up, which shows all the key shortcuts for all the features that this app has. For example, let's say the highlighter, which is H. Let's do that. Let's start annotate screen. And let's say if I want to highlight here, I'll just press H. It says highlight mode turned on. Press H to turn it off again. So then I can just highlight here. I can increase my line weight so that it's a thicker highlighter. So yeah, so then I can highlight. And let's see again. Yep, there's also a whiteboard. So if I press W, so my screen is hidden and I have a whiteboard here and I can just write something. Because the highlighter is turned on, it's a bit dark. So now I've turned off the highlighter and it's clearly visible now. Okay, cool. There's another feature like hold down the control key while drawing to toggle auto erase behavior. Yeah, this one is uh, helpful as well. Like let's say right now I've turned on the auto erase. So that's why when I draw something, it automatically gets erased. But if I want to um, just let's say some annotation, I don't want to be auto erased, but the rest I do, then I can just hold down the control key while drawing and this won't be erased automatically. So it saves. So that's, that's a useful feature as well. And another useful feature that was added now is this one, interact with underlying apps. So earlier it wasn't there. So for example, I want to type something, well, maybe let's erase now. I want to type something on this uh, URL bar without closing the Presentify app. So right now, if I do something, if I click here, what it's doing is it's annotating. It's not actually typing. So I can press and hold the FN key and then I can interact with the app. I can do whatever I want. It's as if Presentify isn't there. So I can type whatever I want. And uh, yeah, just, so let's say for example, you have a slide, you have a presentation and you want to go to the next slide without closing the Presentify app. You can just press the FN key, press and hold and then click wherever you want to go. So that's a helpful feature. And when you release the FN key, the dot, the dot again appears below the below your cursor. So, yeah. Now let's go and see the next mode, which is called interactive mode. So if I turn on the interactive mode, it says press and hold the FN key to annotate. So what this does is it opens up Presentify on the background. Oh, so when I start annotate without contents, let's say, you can still interact uh, with the other apps like you normally do. Like let's say I can just go to the Presentify app again. So this is me interacting with the browser. And let's say if I want to annotate something, I just press and hold the FN key and the dot pops up. And I can just, let me just reduce the line weight. And if I want to annotate something, I can annotate like this. 
and when I leave the FN key, I'm back to the app. So this is a great uh, now feature if you don't want uh, Presentify coming in your way while presenting. You can just present as you normally do and just press and hold the FN key to the highlight quickly something. I love, personally, I just love this feature. And let me stop this. Now let's go to the preferences. So general annotate, okay. So in general, you can choose whether to start the app at login. So with this enabled, whenever you start your Mac OS or your Mac MacBook, Presentify app will be started automatically. And if you enable this, the cursor highlight will be started automatically. We'll see what is cursor highlight later in this video. And the restore defaults, which will restore the default settings. And then coming to the annotate pre preferences, here you can choose the three favorite colors that will be shown in the annotate controls that we saw earlier and the line weight, the default line weight, which you can increase or decrease with the uh, with the key, uh, keys as well. And the whiteboard color, you can customize the whiteboard color here as well. And this is the auto erase uh, setting, which I have enabled. That's why the annotations which I was doing, they were getting erased automatically after two seconds. You can choose from zero to 10. And this is save annotations across sessions. So what this means is if you close Presentify and turn it back on, your annotations will still appear. The last annotation will still appear on the screen. It won't get automatically erased. So these are some of the settings of uh, annotate or annotation. Now coming to the cursor highlight. So let's see first what cursor highlight is and then we can go through this. So now let's go to this turn on cursor, highlight cursor. And now can see this around the circle around the cursor so let's say you want to highlight something while presenting but not necessarily want to annotate then you can use this feature you can toggle this with keyboard shortcut as well like Control s and then it's gone Control s is what i have uh, but you can change that coming to the preferences of cursor highlight uh, you can choose the opacity you can choose the color of the ring you can choose the size the border, this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you don't want a solid border, if you want a, um, a different style of border, you can just choose here. There will be more styles added to this. You can fill the circle as well, instead of just a ring. And I have this enabled, so that means whenever I move the mouse, only then the highlight will appear, the circle will appear. And when the mouse is steady at one place, then it will disappear. So this is the feature for that. Lastly, this is the keyboard shortcut preference. So you can choose what keyboard shortcut you want to start or toggle this feature. So I'll just use this old one. I don't want to change it now. So you can change this default to whatever you like. So this is about it. You can also go to help and see all the videos. Like if you click on videos, there are a couple of videos here showing different features of the app that might be helpful. You can go to the Twitter if you have questions you can just ask there. So yeah, that's a brief intro of the Presentify app. I hope uh, this is helpful. I'll be making more videos whenever there's a new release. Uh, I'll try to keep you updated on the latest and greatest features. Thanks, I hope you like the app. See you next time.